guys, it's uh, Sammy Watts here from Cast Tigers Women and Liam Watts and this is Watts in the Spotlight. <laughs> I have not got a single clue what I did. When I left school, um, I was working part time um, and obviously training, training here so uh, I was more or less straight into rugby when I left school. Uh, I did a bit of welding. Um, just for one of my dad's mates, um, Alan S. Metalcraft, that was just in the town, so I was working, working through the day for him and then coming and work, uh, training on the night time. Um, but as <laughs> I, I honestly could, couldn't tell you what I'd be doing now if I were not playing rugby, this is all I've ever known, so it's, um, it's been a great opportunity for me. Um, it's a bit different for us because we have to work anyway and we just do it in a spare time. Um, but if I wasn't playing rugby, I'd just probably be playing a different sport. Somewhere else, it's probably a bit rough as well. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, mine's um, Kingston Town, UB40. <laughs> uh, I used to listen to my dad sing it all the time <laughs> in pubs and stuff, and then it's just naturally it's just come down to me now because I've, I've sung it a few times with my dad. And like I said, there's, a, there's no better than Kingston Town when it's kicking off. My goat is always sweet Caroline, Neil Diamond. <laughs> Um, you won't believe it, but this kid, Truey, he's, he's, he's really quiet off the pitch. He gets a few beers in him and he's always the last man standing. I don't know why he does it. He absolutely loves the beer and every time we go anywhere, um, went to the races last week, I think he was the last man standing again. <laughs> my, my party days are well gone. I'm struggling the day after. I want the kids to look after. It absolutely kills me. But, um, I definitely said Chul is up there with the, uh, the biggest pie on animal in the team. Um, fat lass is probably Kelsey Gentles. Uh, she's mad. Proper mad. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't think are you, so. Are you on number eight as well? No, 14. Oh, 14. That would have been funny. She'd have been yeah. number eight. Maybe next week. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, when I first come here, obviously all the lads were like into me because nobody dare say out to Powley. So um, obviously me coming is a bit of a fresh and so they were, they were giving me ammo to get at him and that and they, they know that there's no holes barred with me. I just come out with stuff and uh, he, there was a picture flying about with him and he um, and, it, <laughs> and he was, uh, oh, what was it, it called now? Um, like the one with beef in there, beef wellington. And he, um, there was a picture of him putting like a beef fillet in, into the oven and, that, and the lads were giving it to him. And they were just into him all the time, just shouting beef fillet in at the back of the room and that in meetings and that. And uh, end of last year he pulled me in and he says, can we, uh, can we drop all this beef fillet in? So I'm now and now. Just kept putting like pictures into um, pictures into the group. And they were, did like, um, Milo did like a bird's eye advert. And uh, he's got a boat and they put like Paulie's face on the bird's eye advert and you know, the guy in the front of the fish fingers <laughs> and like put his face into it and uh, well, that was flying about for a bit and nobody's really said out to him since. Uh, that, <laughs> I've probably got a few about Lindsay. Um, I won't throw her under the bus. <laughs> I want to get a game tomorrow. Um, no, I can remember once uh, we had some councillors come down, Wake Council sponsored some tops for us. Councillor Jackie Spate, she had a really good idea to get the tackle shields and like just do like a photo anyway. One of the lasses made it, she went, oh just pretend you're tackling her and made it, just floored her. I don't know how Lindsay got away out of that one, she gets away out of a lot of things, so doesn't she? <laughs> but yeah. Jesse, Jesse likes it, he puts his music on and he's just, uh, he's just chilling in there, just loving life, just Mike is up there as well because he gets an ice bath, the ice baths are in the changing rooms, in the showers, so he, he's not only sat in there for a good 15-20 minutes in and out of that. Um, Georgia Roach is always last out at the showers. <laughs> I think she's last to get in as well, she just wanders around changing rooms, messing about and then, yeah, someone, all the family's always waiting for her in car park <laughs> she's last out. Um, for me personally, uh, obviously been a cast lad, I uh, just lived two minutes up the road, Airedale in the, in the art of the uh, cast lands. So yeah, it's, uh, as a kid growing up I always supported cast, 
saying here as a young kid, 15, 16 years old from leaving school. Um, and then I ended up having to leave just to get a bit of first team football, um, being a young kid and stuff. And not really making my mark here to start with, and then obviously the chance to sign back here. Um, it was a great opportunity, and uh, it's something that I'm, I'm relishing at the minute. Um, yeah, same for me really, I'm local so I couldn't imagine myself playing for anyone else. Um, so when the Women's Super League started and Cass, Cass had a team, there was only one option really and that was to come, come and play for Cass, so yeah.